Okay, so now I want to show you how to make this little uh, knob that's on uh, the lamp holder. I'll show you how to make something like this out of splines. So let's get started. Okay, let's go. Uh, we'll build it from the front. So we're going to build from splines again. So I'm going to go ahead and snap to our center. And we're going to create a star. So I'm going to click and drag out how big I want the star to be. Now initially just come out as points like this. And then we go into our attributes and then I can start adjusting the uh, inner radius. Okay. Then you can come in here and type in however many points you want. I'm going to say, I think that's too many. If I look at this, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe about 20. Might work. Okay, and then you can adjust, you know, how far the inside and outside. Okay. Now, I don't need to do it for this, but there is a distortion in here if you need to make it more like a gear. Okay, I don't need that for here, but it suggests it's in there. Okay, so now I can round these because I don't want points. I want more of a rounded look, something like this. Okay, then that works pretty good. So now what we're going to do is to put a bevel on this. And... When you first come into the bevel, and let's go ahead and put our shader on it. When you first come into the bevel, it'll be flat like this. Okay. In your bevel values, the uh, you have level one, level two, and level three. Okay, and these are all default to zero. Okay, and so level one um, is the bevel on the back side, level two is the thickness of the object, and level three is the bevel on the front side. So I want to go and make it, oh, maybe something like this. And then on the front, We'll give it maybe, oh, we'll just say, we'll start off with 0.5. Then we just want to copy this and put it into here, but we want it to be a negative number. Now, if we take this number and we put it in our starting outline, okay, then that'll change um, where it's starting from. Now for this particular piece I don't want to do that but for some things I do want that. And the difference is is that when we're coming in on it are we putting the bevel on the inside or are we putting the bevel on the outside? So when I put that number in here then we're putting the bevel on the inside. Okay so alright so this by default is pretty good but I don't like I'm getting this point in here and I don't like this point okay it's gonna give me some problems so what I want to do is go back to my star click my end result and now I can come in here and I can start adjusting these curves and then start adjusting the amount of my oops of my bevel so that this doesn't close up on me. I don't want it to close up. I want it to have more of a look of that. Okay, so I might need to adjust my height just a little bit. Something like that looks pretty good. Okay, now I can build a taper into this, but what I can do right now is I can actually come in here and flare this out, like so, is one way to do it. Or we can put a taper in it, it's just according to the look that we're wanting. And really, probably that looks pretty good. 
But for our particular cases, what we're needing, the way we're making this, this is the front, so we need it to flare out. Okay, so what we're doing is, gotta tell it to flare. Actually, I think what I wanna do is put a taper on this. So we could come in here and we're going to put a taper on this and then we can tell it to taper it and we want it to go more like this. That's going to give us pretty much the look of what I'm doing here. Okay. So now I need to get some beveled edges in here because I want this to have a nice highlight on it. So what we're gonna do is to put an edit poly in here. And now I wanna select uh, this edge right here and then I can put a chamfer on it. And then a lot of times the chamfer, when you first put it on, it'll like make it explode. You want to zero this out and then just give it a little bit of a chamfer. And usually about two segments will get you a nice rounded highlight on there. And then we want to put one on the front too. So I'm going to put another edit poly on here so that I can go in here and I can select this. Now, an issue that I'm getting in here, I cannot double click on this. So what you want to do is go to Polygon, click here, then holding down the control key, when I click Edge, then it'll select that edge. And then what I can do is I can copy this chamfer and then place it back on top and it'll add me the exact same chamfer up there too. And now I have a nice kind of rounded edge to that to catch highlights. See those nice highlights that it's catching on there, which we only get because we're putting that chamfer on there. Okay, now on this particular piece, I can't really see the top of it, but I'm gonna act like it's got an indentation on it. So what we're gonna do here, Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a extended primitive and I'm gonna create a chamferd cylinder and I wanna create it on this surface. So if you click this auto grid, then it'll allow me to create on a surface. So I'm gonna go something like this and um, default it doesn't have all right so what I want to do here is I want to align it so I want to align on my Z and X position and then I want to give it some height I don't need it to have too much height and then I'm going to Go ahead and give it a rounded edge like this. And then I'm going to push it in a little bit. And then I'm going to come back to this. And I'm going to go to my extended primitives. I'm sorry, compound objects, Boolean. We want a subtraction, pick this, and then it will subtract that out of there. Okay, I wanted to highlight down in there, that's why I wanted that rounded edge. Now, I'm thinking that I wanted some more geometry in there. I don't like that point right in there, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll go back to my Shammerford cylinder here, which you can go back down on your stack, and I can give me some cap segments, maybe something like that. 
you know and the other thing I can do is if I um, if I go to operands here and I pick the chamfer cylinder if I don't think that it's deep enough it's still live I can push this around so we're still being able to see that now if you go up here um, display your operands then you can see you can actually see the little operand which is the the chamfer but I'm gonna just look at results and I like that a little bit better okay so that's looking pretty good I want to soften this edge so what I can do now is add an edit poly back on top and I won't be able to grab that edge so what I'll have to do is grab this poly then holding down my um, control key and switching to edges then it'll switch to edges now I don't want the edge around the e uh, around the edge I only want this inner one so I'm gonna go up here under my selection and I'm gonna grab the spray can and then let's kinda of go around the front of this and then I'm holding down my alt key and I can paint these out so alt is to take away so I want to take this selection away out here make sure I get all of this out here so I deselect all of that so all I have is that center part and now I can put a chamfer on that I'm going to zero it out. I, anytime that you, on these little tumblers, if you right click, it'll take it to its lowest setting. So on the chamfer, it'll zero that out, and I can start giving it a little bit of a rounded edge. And I want two segments, and then that will give me a nice highlight on that edge. Okay, this looks pretty good. okay so now we've got a little piece that uh, comes out here and there's also a little bitty lip on this right here so I'm gonna put an edit poly on this and we're gonna select this polygon and then what I'm gonna do is put a bevel on it so we're going to tell it to come out so far and then bevel that in a little bit and actually I think what I want to do is do an inset and then just pull that out yeah I like that better okay so now we're going to do, I don't like that, I wonder why it's causing that. Let's put a normals modifier on that, see if the normals are messed up. Uh, edit normal, no, all the normals are okay, but it fixed that. All right, let's put an edit poly back on it. That was a little anomaly, but we want to fix that. We don't want little shading anomalies on there. Okay, so let's go back and put another uh, chamfered cylinder on the bottom. So let's go ahead and um, extended primitive. Same thing. We'll leave it auto grid click on here and make it pull it out oops let's click pull out and then you have to set the chamfer right there okay and then I want to make sure that that is centered so only on the X and the Z and then I can pull that in a little bit and then we're gonna do the same thing in here and come in here and go to compound objects 
and boolean subtract add and cut that out of there and really for this I'm not going to chamfer for that edge as a matter of fact I think on this chamfer on this I don't need those cap segments and that'll work because we're that's going to be on the inside so I don't need it okay so then we're going to go back put another edits poly on this I'm going to select this vertex holding the control key go to polygon and then delete then I can grab here hold down the shift key and pull this out this is going to be this little piece and then all I need to do is to scale it in a little bit so it tapers and then I can just uh, cap that and I'm not gonna put a chamfer on this because you're, it's not it's not a leading surface okay so I'm not gonna catch a highlight on it so all I'm gonna do here is um, let's go here and let's do an inset for the little stem there's a little stem that comes out here that goes in and then we can cut it out uh, we can extrude that out and then I'm going to get rid of uh, I'm going to delete that because it's be, we're going to stick that in and so we won't need that and so there we go and so I don't like that okay we got to fix these smoothing groups here so what we want to do is to grab these polygons, these polygons, and we want to auto smooth those and then that'll fix that issue. Okay, so there we go. So there we go. There is our little knob that will go on to the side. I don't like those little shading anomalies in there. What I might want to do is go here and then auto smooth that and that'll fix that shading anomalies. So that it shows that it's being flat, and there we go. Oh my gosh, there it is! A little knob for for your little lamp holder. Okay, thank you very much.